나는 저쪽으로 가려니까. Welcome back to the channel and happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> we decided to kind of do a spooky film for Halloween this year. Um, mm. And yeah, this is only our second time reviewing a film on the channel. Mm -hmm. um, the last film we reviewed, Decision to Leave, mm. got a lot of support, so thank you all. Yeah, because it's our new try for, video, uh, for movie now. Mm -hmm. So we really. Thank you so much for the support and your comments and please keep doing this so we know where we're going is right or wrong, we can adjust ourselves. Yeah, really appreciate it. Mm. But of course today we're going to be talking about a totally different film and that is... Memory of Murder. Yeah, so <laughs> this is a classic Bong Joon-ho film. Oh. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, um, then look away because there will be spoilers in this video. Oh. Um, but with that said, it's a true story. Um, and yeah, it's really, really an interesting story uh, that has been told here. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, we really do appreciate it. And we've been seeing growth of the channel, which is really, really great for us. Uh, we'd love for YouTube to recommend our videos a little bit more in the algorithm. So. Uh, with that said, let's just jump into it. Yeah, so let's start from the story, the beginning of the story. Yeah, very, very interesting film. Uh, Song Kang-ho plays a detective in this film, and some of you know him from other films. We won't really get into that, but mm. he's a very famous actor. Uh, and his role here is a detective who stumbles upon a murder mm. and the murder itself is a very interesting one um, and definitely in the halloween spirit very creepy um, it's a young girl who's um, been murdered and put into a drain pipe or kind of a water access mm -hmm. um, drainage area in a small town in yeah. south korea yeah in the movie you can see it's in the small village mm -hmm. i will even put and the, the kids following him mm -hmm. and they they think it's a i don't want to put a funny thing happened it's not usual thing happened to them mm -hmm. everybody stand around them and just curious what's going on mm -hmm. and uh, he couldn't protect the evidence very well and all destroyed it let me put it this way right yeah so this is the first case yeah and it's a very uh kind of shocking thing definitely not funny um you know it, murders in south korea are very low uh, yeah. if you've ever been to korea or if you've watched our channel you know that korea is a very safe country um, we were out at all hours of the night um, while in Korea and you know I, I live there it's very safe um, so it really shocked this town mm -hmm. because you know suddenly there is this woman that got murdered and eventually there's another woman that gets murdered very soon yes yeah. and the way how the murder tied it up these vet victims mm -hmm. back and the, the knot he make mm -hmm. is very unique way right yeah 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 very like precise and there's a detective that comes from Seoul who actually uh, volunteers to kind of help out in this town because serial killers which it turns out this is are very very uh, rare in South Korea mm -hmm. so interestingly uh, this detective from Seoul kind of notices that there was another woman who had went missing many months earlier mm. and they find out that yeah she was also murdered uh, they just hadn't found her body yet mm -hmm. so it, the total comes to three very quickly um, very interestingly in the film the story also shows you uh, kind of police abuse. Uh, there's no back other way to, to say it. Back to the time of Korea. Yeah. Yeah. And when we say back to the time, you know, this was before DNA even. So there were no like DNA tests being done to identify this male. Um, 
and yeah, it, it definitely goes down a rabbit hole of just frustration on the detectives' parts. Yes, because they spend so much time on the cases and mm. they're trying to catch the murder. Um, they, how do you say, they invest, they saw so many um, men if they are suspicious them and they really tried very hard mm -hmm. so eventually um, there's a case he hidden the sole police officer because he went to the school he heard the rumors that mm -hmm. the murderer is hiding the a restroom in the middle school or high school mm -hmm. right from the stu female students and uh, he went to the school try to find out something and he saw the student again and she's a little injured he put a bandage on her on mm -hmm. her lower back part mm -hmm. and uh, when they find a body he saw the bandage he knew it's the girl so that's the point i think he the sole police officer very hard right he he become very angry and he has to can you know catch the murder yeah, and it I, is ten point to me. Yeah, absolutely. And I there's a lot actually. The the bodies keep going up. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, that sole police officer also finds a lady who is living out in the wilderness in absolute fear, and it turns out that she had survived. Yeah. Um, and they talk about you know the murderer had soft hands and looked very average. Mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of a nice guy it looked like, and um, ultimately, yeah, they they looked for a lot of different people in the case. Um, you know, the murders are never explicitly shown in the film, which is nice, um, but it is still very unsettling and uh, creepy, I think is a good word for it. Mm -hmm. um, they do find out that he, the murderer is only killing on rainy nights, um, and on top of that, the women are traditionally wearing red, red yes. dresses. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they're trying to put all these things together. But by the end of the film, uh, nothing is solved. No. Um, the little village police officer, he quit mm -hmm. his job and he became businessman. Mm -hmm. And one day he stopped almost passed by the first case location, he stopped the car and he went back to the first scene, he saw the first body under the water. You mm -hmm. know. And yeah, this is a very shock scene to me because he, the little girl passed by and told him there's another guy did exactly the same thing mm -hmm. he's doing and he trying to find, he still want to know Who's the guy? Right. Because only the murder knows mm. what happened here, right? Right. And the police officer. So the girl just said he's very ordinary looking, mm -hmm. very normal guy, nothing special, nothing unique. And then he directly see the camera. Yeah, the look on his face. Yes. That's how it ends. Yes. Yeah, the. You know, I, I, we've talked about the story a lot, but I think that's because it's a very well-written story, mm. very interesting. There are moments of humor that are injected throughout to kind of lift you up a little bit because it's such heavy subject material. Mm. But I think this was an early indicator for fans of Korean cinema that this director, Bong Joon-ho, was on a really good track for becoming an incredible director. Um, and this film was filmed very well. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the kind of cinematography, um, the camera angles, just really beautiful um, in the way that it showed Korea, showed this town. Yeah. And I feel also showed kind of moments of suspense. Yes, and uh, what I learned from um, other reviews, reviewers to this movie. Also, it's very classic, still the top classic movie in Korea so far from 
murder case, something like the criminal. Mm -hmm. um, still, there's no other movie can reach the level yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, once you mentioned, uh, I don't know about that. Uh, there are a lot the, of really well, very yeah, very very high, high up, up there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. but I want to say there's a couple of things I never forget. Mm -hmm. The first one is the chasing. Mm -hmm. Oh there's yeah. There's a guy. They, they thought he's the murderer, but he's not. Mm -hmm. But he doing creepy thing on the scene, and they they thought that he is the one, but unfortunately he's not. Then they start chasing him, and he start running, and the music plus mm -hmm. the way how they film chase the person, mm -hmm. so intense. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's like almost getting. Almost get him, you know? Yeah, I think another scene that had a lot of suspense because of the way it was filmed was when the woman was walking in the rain uh, with the umbrella. Oh. And they actually show the murderer. Um, but it's filmed in such a, like, random shaky cam. The film doesn't have, like, shaky cam throughout it. But in this scene, the woman's terrified. She's running away as she's hearing these um, kind of sounds yeah. coming from the tall yeah. grass. And then you see him run at her and you just know she's doomed. Um, so yeah, it's filmed very well. And I think to your point about sound, the sound is also really, really well. Um, the way that they utilize sound in this film. Mm. Um, there are definitely moments of high suspense but also moments with no sound at all. Um, just a really, really unique film that has a lot of memorable moments. Um, yeah, anything else you'd like to share about the film? Yeah, um, there's another thing very... the image still like printed in my mind is the first one they think is suspicious the one who has burned on side left side his face. Mm -hmm. He is the son of the barbecue restaurant the yeah. boss. Yeah. His death is very tragic to me. Yeah. Because he they all know he is not a murderer. Mm -hmm. But he was trying to run away too, you know? Mm -hmm. Then the train hit him. That yeah. thing is very yeah, and he was unforgettable. He ran away directly as a result of being abused while in police custody. Um, the police finally realized he knew something and yeah. he had seen the murderer. So he wanted, the police wanted to know what the murderer looked like from him. Um, but yeah, he runs away and gets hit by a train. Uh, there's a lot in this film and yeah, we've really delved into the story quite yeah. a bit here for all of you. Yeah, but if you watch the movie, you know what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. And there's so many in my mind. Seriously, I watched more than once. Yeah. <laughs> so many um, pictures or photos in my mind right now. It's like unforgettable. Mm -hmm. It's very shocking and it's very such good film. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think with that, let's go ahead and review it. Um, so out of five stars, what would you rate? Memories of Murder. Five point. Oh, I'm sorry. Four point nine. Oh wow. Four point nine. Oh. I would give it a five star rating. Um, yeah, we're both really close on this. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a four point nine five out of five stars from us. Mm. Why? Uh, why not a perfect five star from you? Just want to give zero point one to other directors who's challenging him. <laughs> that you know to make a five yeah you know because it's very 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 good film but i still think there's a little bit space mm -hmm. he he can he can do it better sure yeah yeah i i will say um i i really think if you like suspense films dramas um true crime this is an incredible film to watch um mm. very very memorable and uh, actually, they found the murderer now. So if you uh, go on YouTube and look up the story, um, they did finally figure it out. 
Yeah, so with that, um, yeah, we have the Criterion uh, Collection Blu-ray of this. This was released, I believe, last year on Criterion Collection. So if you want a really crisp version of it, please check out the Criterion Collection. We're not even going to leave a link. We're not getting paid to say that, uh, but it really is the best way to watch it at home. Yeah, just Google it. <laughs> yeah. All right. With that said, um, thank you so much again for checking out our channel. We would love to hear your thoughts on Memories of Murder. Have you seen it? Is it now on your uh, to watch list? Even though we've spoiled it for you, trust us, it does not fully encapsulate the experience of watching the film itself. Mm. Um, and yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we have more videos to share with you here this week. Um, including a video from South Korea uh, itself. So with that, we hope you have a wonderful morning, day, evening, whatever it might be. It's Halloween. Um, so yeah, have a good one. Yeah, happy Halloween again. <laughs> Thanks everyone.